this is the next Tesla. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at a company that is up and coming and is gunning for Tesla. Um, I'm anticipating that this company is going to be the next Tesla. Uh, they're going to be competing with Tesla in the space of electric car manufacturing. Uh, but the only difference is these guys are not focusing on cars because that's what Tesla started with, right? Tesla came in, say, we're going to change the car business. We're going to do electric cars. These guys have come in and scoped out a niche for themselves in the electric space. They are looking at um, semi trucks and pickup trucks. That is the niche. This is awesome because currently there's no electric pickup trucks market in the United States. So uh, if you can find a company that can manufacture pickup trucks that are electric, I bet you, you are set for golden. And if you can get semi trucks that are electric, I think this is an awesome pick. So uh, the name of this company is called Nikola Motors. They, I mean, I've, I've had them on my radar for, for a long time. And I mean, it's a startup company. They don't trade public yet. So they haven't gone public. So this is just a, a startup, but it's, it's worth keeping an eye on. And the reason why I'm doing this video today is because not only um, do we get news uh, this week that there is another company called Vector IQ, which is a, a holding company that's set up to help um, maybe take other startup companies to the market so and the holding company that we are talking about here is called vector iq vector iq is actually led by a former um, a vice chief at, from general motors so this is somebody that has the experience uh, with the big auto manufacturing so if these two companies can merge vector iq and nicola motors and the merger has actually been approved and if it can go through let's say by june this company is set to explode is it a risky buy i think so for every startup that you put your money into you know for sure it's a very risky thing because we don't know how things are going to turn out as of right now they have about fourteen thousand pre-orders which <laughs> fourteen thousand pre-orders semi trucks and pickup trucks and, and based on the numbers from what i'm reading online that is uh, kind of equivalent to about 10 billion dollars in revenue that is insane this is even they haven't even manufactured one pickup truck or one semi truck so uh again with high risk comes high reward if you think about it how many people thought tesla would be where they are today so if i can see a company that is coming in in the market um to compete with tesla but not a direct comp uh, competition because they are going after pickup trucks and semi trucks and leaving the car space to tesla i think it's a, it's a really good um, company to take a look at and here's one of the things that makes this company in, in my opinion a little bit different they are not just producing electric cars so they are producing um, um, pickup and uh, semi trucks that are powered by batteries as well as hydrogen fuel cells so Tesla only do batteries and these guys are taking it one step further. So it, it, it would be an interesting, um, you know, game to see here who gets to the finish line first. I know Tesla is actually right now working on manufacturing pickup trucks as well as semi trucks. But if these guys can get to the market before Tesla, whew, the race is on. This is going to be super interesting. So the, the stock price for Vector IQ after the news of this merger came out is up 20% already. So uh, this is something to keep an eye on. So if this merger goes through, I'm anticipating that that stock price is going to go from uh, maybe right now, which is trading at about $30, it would jump up to 40, 50, 60, if not $70, um, especially if by the time everything is gone, we have a vaccine for coronavirus as well as the economy gets back on track boy this is setting up to be an excellent stock but again the risk here is really really high because these guys again they have they haven't manufactured one truck or or any product in the market yet so they're not selling any physical product you can actually see right now they're selling the concept but that is true for most companies most startups they sell concept and one other thing that i really think is super important is that they are not like pioneering they're not breaking ground on anything because tesla's already done it all they're doing is just carving out a niche for themselves because uh talking about electric cars and uh, the batteries 
Tesla has done that already. So if they're coming and they're improving it, that's fine. And they're putting it in, in pickup trucks and in semi trucks. That is a really good niche that they can just go in there and, and just own that space and not have to step on toes uh, with Tesla. So um, again, guys, this is uh, one stock that I wanted to bring out to you guys. And thanks to uh, one of my subscribers that actually reminded or pointed out to me that um, Vector IQ was in the process or looking at acquiring Nikola Motors. So I uh, appreciate it. And again, guys, um, investing in startup is a very risky business. So if you don't feel comfortable with startups, you want to see them established, you can definitely sit back and wait. Um, you still might be able to make some money but not as much as the people that took the, the risk up front. So and think about it, Tesla started when some people got into Tesla at $300, which they knew for sure was an established company and it's up to about $800 now. Um, if you look at it, Shopify started, some people got in at $200 and now it's up to about $700. So um, high risk, high reward. Pretty much that's what I'm going to say. So definitely check them out and let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this? Do you think it's just a big hype or, hey, Mr. V, I don't think any company can necessarily make a semi truck that runs on a battery or hydrogen cell. Let me know in the comment section. And as always, guys, do your own research, do your homework before investing in any of these companies because you are your own boss. I'm not responsible for your choices. Like, share, subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to my channel. So if you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, that definitely helps me a lot and helps the channel grow. And as always, stay motivated.